disconnecting sway bars, a 12,000 pound winch, and over 14 inches of ground clearance. Now it might sound like I'm describing some type of military vehicle, and that's not surprising considering that the power wagon was born on the battlefields of World War II. Now for 2017, this truck is a little more comfortable than that truck, but its mission stays the same, to dominate the terrain off-road. So let's start off by talking about what's new for 2017 and the short answer is not a whole lot. The truck gets that new grille which was introduced on the Ram Rebel and it gets some new clean looking graphics. And there were a few small changes which went a little bit beyond appearance, one of which is a new powder coated front bumper which is going to help protect the truck against wear and tear but especially against wear and tear from the winch cable. The truck also gets Bilstein monotube shocks complete under chassis armor, tow hooks, and of course, that 12,000 pound winch. This interior is modern, and it is still one of my favorite truck interiors. I just think it's a really clean layout. Everything is right at your hand, you know where it is. And besides that, I still love the fact that Ram puts a manual linkage to their transfer case. Sure, you can have the knob and they all work pretty well, but there's still something awesome about having an actual lever and pulling that truck down into four low. So before we get to the fun stuff, and trust me, we spent a lot of time out in the desert today, let's just talk about how this power wagon handles on road. Now just like other Rams, this truck uses the five link coil rear suspension, so there are no leaf springs back there, which equals a pretty nice smooth ride. Now it's still a little jittery on road, but of course it is a heavy duty pickup, that's what you'd expect, but for the most part, this thing just tucks in and it really feels comfortable when you're cruising on the highway. Now the other thing that you should not expect from this V8 is good fuel economy. Now out here cruising at 75 miles an hour on the interstate, we're averaging about 15 or 16 miles per gallon, which isn't the worst, but especially after a day like we just had wheeling, you're probably gonna be lucky to get around 11 or 12 miles per gallon. But again, it's a big heavy truck and a big V8, so I think that's to be expected. Now under the hood of the power wagon, and the only engine you can get with this truck is a 6.4 liter V8, which makes 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. Now those numbers come across pretty stout, and the power is sent through a 410 rear end, but even so, out here on the road, this engine feels like just enough for this truck. But that's enough about on-road. Taking one quick look at the equipment list on this power wagon and you know right away that it's all about tackling the dirt. So right out of the box, the power wagon gets 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires. It has 14.3 inches of ground clearance. It has 30 inches of water fording capability and it has 26 inches of articulated wheel travel when the sway bars are disconnected. Now that all adds up to an approach angle of 33.6 degrees and a departure angle of 26.2 degrees. The disconnecting sway bar makes a real difference. Now we were out there doing some pretty serious rock crawling today and having that sway bar disconnected just means that all four of your tires are staying flat on the ground. You have maximum traction at all times. And over everything we crawled over today, there was never a point where the power wagon felt like maybe it wouldn't make. Now when we were out there wheeling today, we aired down to about 30 PSI, which is about half of what the tires are rated at, and that makes a big difference. It really just smooths out the ride of this truck, so it doesn't beat you up too much off-road. But it's also those Bilstein shocks, which are helping to absorb all of those bumps, and even through the whoop section, there's certainly no Raptor. The power wagon still holds its own, and you can get it up to decent speeds. And I have to say that although on the road, I feel like this V8 could use a bit more power, when you're off-road, it's actually quite nice. It's not jumpy at all. It has good throttle response. It's very delicate, so you can just lean into the throttle a little bit. And again, this truck is all about crawling. Hooked to the engine is a six-speed automatic transmission. And in our day with the truck, it's worked flawlessly. We haven't had any issues. And best of all is when you put your foot into this truck and it hits that downshift, 
this V8 sounds real good. And the other thing which I forgot to mention so far is that the Power Wagon also has locking differentials in the back and in the front. Just one more way that it's ready to crawl up just about anything. Now the winch can come in handy when you get this power wagon stuck, although I'll tell you that that's pretty tough to do, but it also comes in handy when you have buddies who maybe get a little too excited and something like this happens. Now the size of the truck is kind of working for it and against it. Now let me explain. I think it's obvious that the bigger the vehicle, it can be a little tougher when you're running off road. You can't be on too many tight, tight trails. And because the truck is so heavy that if you do come down on a rocker panel or something like that, you're probably gonna do some damage. But that being said, for a 2500, you just have so much capability in this truck and it's able to get just about anywhere. And there's no other heavy duty that will even come close to competing with this power wagon when it comes to getting in the dirt. Now to top it all off, the power wagon's not such a bad deal. Now a base power wagon, you're looking at about $52,000, and keep in mind that every one of these trucks is a crew cab with that six foot four bed. There are tons of great options on the market right now for off-road pickup trucks, but there's a problem. They're all limited to half ton and smaller. So if you're looking for a heavy duty truck and you wanna head off-road, there's no beating the Ram 2500 power wagon.